Hoboken Mayor Don Zimmer, along with various other city officials, gathered at City Hall on Wednesday afternoon to talk about the two-year anniversary of Hurricane Sandy, letting the residents know what the recovery has been like since the natural disaster. Zimmer kicked off the ceremonies before introducing United States Air Force Reservist Joe Badosky, who recalled what Sandy was like for him and his wife, who were in two separate locations at the time. When you go to war, it's also it's commonly said that uh, your your family faces worse things than you do, and I can, I can rest assured that that was certainly true in our situation. Well, to complicate things a little bit more in our personal situation, my wife um, was pregnant uh, at eight months pregnant at the time with uh, with our first child, the expectation of our first child, and she was um, a couple of days after uh, after the storm hit. Um, we still didn't have power, and we, everybody was trapped in their room. We were still flooded in our section of Hoboken, and I get a, a, I get a text message from her that um, she's about to be evacuated by the, by the National Guard that was in town. And uh, I'll tell you, as an Air Force member, it was the happiest I've ever been to see the, see the Army. So it was, uh, it, it was really, really wonderful, and um, I, I was thrilled that they were here and doing a great job. Brodowski then raised a flag that was flown over Afghanistan aboard a B-1 bomber during Operation Enduring Freedom on November 5, 2012. And once it waved in front of City Hall, the crowd sang, God bless America. God bless. Zimmer then noted that the flag was raised to honor all of the first responders that helped Hoboken during this crisis, also explaining that an additional $230 million will be dedicated to Hoboken, Weehawken, and Northern Jersey City to prevent flooding after winning the Rebuild by Design competition. I just want to give a, a quick update you know, about what we've been doing over the last year. We are extremely proud that we were able to uh, win uh, rebuild by design competition. Um, so it's part of a HUD program and uh, it's money that will be funded uh, through the state, but it's uh, $230 million to really protect um, Hoboken, Weehawken, and Northern Jersey City. So we are, you know, supporting the state and, and gonna, we want to work with them as, as uh, expeditiously as possible to uh, really move this ahead, but it's a four-part water management strategy to comprehensively protect the city of Hoboken, protect all of our residents, all of our businesses, our critical assets, protect the entire city. So I am uh, really determined to move this forward, extremely committed to moving this forward. There's Dr. Catherine D. Sullivan, an administrator of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also spoke of Hoboken's devastation and recovery from the superstore. Yeah, my thanks as a Jersey native, transplanted at a young age, but uh, all that, what you all did here in Hoboken in the face of such a tremendous storm and all the consequences that it unleashed on your community is really a testament to the, the tenacity and the preparedness and the, the spirit and self-help of a good community. And what you've done since in, in winning the Rebuild by Design competition in coming together to rethink how to better defend this city against future events, how to not only use engineering and technology, but make smarter use of nature's own defenses to make a next storm less damaging to this community is really, it is a national model. It's being looked at all across the country. Uh, your mayor served on a task force that President Obama appointed about a year and a half ago to help communities make recommendations to us and the federal government about actions we can take that better help communities like Hoboken all across the country to be more resilient. Additionally, Provisional Hoboken Police Chief Adelmiro Garcia, Fire Chief Richard Blom, and newly appointed Police Chief Kenneth Ferrante all gave props to their squads during the aftermath of Sandy. In the first 10 days alone, we had over a thousand calls for service. Just one call alone was one of my fire engines following one of those deuce and a half trucks from the National Guard. I'm going to thank them too for being there. Mayor's insistence on coming here. And there was a woman in a wheelchair that needed to be evacuated out medically. Well, they only got so far because of the depth of the water. Firefighters then took a Zodiac inflatable boat, got in that boat, rowed to that woman, put her in the boat, put her wheelchair in the boat, turned around, rowed out, and then carried her the rest of the way until they could get them to that truck. And that was just one call. 
and we had almost 1,000 of those in the first 10 days. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.